morning looking into a proposal by the North Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, also known as NOAA. It would, the national, I said North National, it would establish a lower speed limit for boaters in parts of the Gulf. Environmental groups are in support of this, but boating companies say this is going to hurt the economy and also have a negative impact on their industry in the Tampa Bay area. ABC Action News reporter Keenan McCormick explains. Those new regulations do aim to protect whales in the Gulf, but some boating companies I spoke with tell me they worry it will actually cripple the recreational boating industry. NOAA Fisheries is considering a new proposal to lower the speed limit to 11 miles per hour for recreational boaters in parts of the Gulf. The goal is to protect the rice's whale population, but boating companies say it will hurt the industry more than it'll help. It will basically shut down the whole fishery you know, economy. It will shut down the boating economy. The vessel slowdown would impact people boating through the Rice's Whale core habitat. That's a pretty big stretch from Pensacola down to south of Tampa. It would require boats to travel no faster than 11 miles an hour when going through the area. It also prevents boats from traveling through that area at night. We probably make four or five trips in the upper Gulf from the uh, western coast of Florida up into Louisiana and those areas there. With the new restrictions, it's going to stop us from making those runs. Uh, there's just no way we can make it safely uh, and efficiently. Moss says the new regulation would practically shut down boating in this major stretch of the Gulf, which will impact boaters and companies across Florida and right here in the Bay Area. We are a $31.3 billion business here in Florida. There's over a million registered boaters in the state of Florida, um, about 7,000 businesses, and over 110,000 jobs depend on recreational boating. Angers worries it will shut down companies, leaving thousands of people without jobs. But aside from the industry impact, he says 11 miles an hour isn't safe for boaters. When NOAA sets a speed limit of 11 miles an hour, it's not safe sometimes for me to be on the water with my three children. And it wouldn't be safe for, for any boater. Angers tells me he would like to see NOAA take a technological approach to protect the whales. He says boating companies are proposing that they track the location of whales on their consoles. He thinks this is more efficient to protecting those animals and will keep boaters in business. I reached out to NOAA for comment but have not yet heard back. There's more information about these proposed regulations on our website for you. That's at abcactionnews.com. Reporting in Tampa, Keely McCormick, ABC Action News.